Louis, you've had your first few days back after five months away in Australia. Uh, where were you based and how was your time down under? Yeah, no, it was awesome. So I was based in Sydney, um, playing for Campbelltown, um, that are about an hour west of Sydney. Um, so yeah, I loved my time there, learned quite a bit about cricket. Um, so no, it's good to be back though as well. Before we get on to how you got on cricketing wise out there, how'd you get on uh, away from cricket? What'd you get up to? Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to have been to Sydney before. Um, so I kind of knew the area and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I love the place. It's probably my favorite place um, in the world, to be honest. Um, so yeah, when I wasn't playing cricket or gymming or running or whatever, you'd probably find me at the beach, to be, to be honest. Um, had to go at surfing as well. Um, can't say I've got a future in that, to be honest. It was pretty bad. I spent more time underwater than on the board, I reckon. Um, and then, yeah, I'd watch watch every Arsenal game. I'd set my alarm and make sure, made sure I watched um, the guys win again. So, yeah, we're doing pretty well at the minute. So hopefully that can continue. But, um, yeah, no, I love my time. Um, it's a really cool place. So you mentioned you played there for, for Campbelltown. How did you stay sort of work in terms of training and matches? How did you get on, on on that side of things? Yeah, so we train uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, our head coach was Jason Crazier. Um, so he's played for Australia before. So it was good to kind of pick his brains. Um, obviously trying to improve my bowling as well. He was a right arm off, off spinner. So yeah, trying to trying to get some advice and things like that from him was was pretty good. Um, and then we'd play on a Saturday, um, different format. So you have T20, one day cricket, and then two day cricket. Um, so yeah, it was good, um, good experience, different challenges, uh, the conditions and, and things like that were um, slightly different to over here. Um, so the pitches, they weren't as quick as I thought, to be honest. Um, and they didn't have as much bounce as I thought. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was a good challenge. Played against a few decent players as well who've been playing in the Big Bash and things like that. So no, it was nice to um, to play some good competitive cricket. Obviously your winters looks a little bit different to the lads here who've been training quite hard, um, obviously on their cricketing skills and their fitness as well. So how do you feel now in terms of uh, physicality and your technique as well? Yeah, no, pretty good actually. Um, you know, we do stuff most days to be honest. Um, so Alex Evans was actually with me out there. Um, he was playing for a, a different club, Parramatta, um, and we're pretty close mates. So uh, it was good to have him there so we could always do stuff together. Um, but yeah, no, kept kept myself fit. Um, you know, we had a had a little cricket pitch outside my house, actually. Um, and you'd see Shane Watson there the, the odd time having a net, actually, which is... Yeah, I didn't expect that, but um, no, it was it was good to uh, good to keep myself fit there. Um, I actually really got into swimming. So in all the at all the beaches, they've got a uh, like rock pools and things like that. So you know you can go swim swim in there. They're like thirty meters in length, so you know it's pretty ideal actually. So uh, yeah, and then the cricket side of things, I actually felt pretty good, um, and I feel like I've come back in a pretty good space. So I'm looking forward to getting outside now. Yeah, obviously a lot colder here conditions wise than, than how you would have left Australia. But I guess one advantage coming back here before we get outside is the chance to work with James Taylor. I guess you've been in communication with him, but now got a chance to work with him sort of face to face. Yeah, no, Titch, um, you know, he's a really nice guy and people have only said good things about him. Um, and he was good in Oz uh, with me as well. We'd often call one another just to discuss little bits and bobs about you know, whether it's the mental side of the game or or little like technical technical bits and bobs. Um so yeah, no, he was awesome to to chat to out there. Um and since I've been back, I mean this is my first week back training, but um yeah, no, he's given me a lot of confidence, um, even in such a, a small and short space of time. So yeah, I'm I can't wait to to um pick his brains more and, and learn more of him. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. Obviously, there's a lot of competition now in that batting group. We've got Sol Budinger arriving via Mulder back, Ajinki Rahane as well. So it's a really strong core now. How much will that drive standards uh, in the remaining weeks of pre-season ready for that first game? Yeah, no, for sure. I think it's awesome having strong competition. Um, I mean, everyone's kind of levels rise, I think. Um, and if you look at all the, the top teams, you know, they've got competition uh, for places, which is, I think it's great for a sporting team. Um so, you know, and, and no one's, you know, everyone wants everyone to do well. So, um, you know, when you see people do do well, it's, you know, it's great to see. But, um, 
yeah, no, everyone everyone wants to be on that pitch, I guess. But um, no, it is great to have that uh, competition for sure. You'll obviously be staking your own claim for that. Um, 2022, you hit your first first class century and your maiden one day century as well for the club. So how would you reflect on your summer last year as a whole? Yeah, relatively good. You know, I was happy to get that first century kind of out of the way, um, you know, which was nice. Um, I'd have liked to have turned a few more of the of the 50s and things in the four day comp and also the one day stuff into, you know, big scores. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can learn from that this year and and turn them into three figures um, and big scores that win your games. Um, but yeah, no, l really looking forward to to the four day stuff and then all the white ball stuff, the T20 and the, and the one day comp. You mentioned there, turning your 50s into 100s and working on your bowling a bit as well. Have you set yourself any goals in these last few weeks of preseason? To be honest, I'm not a massive goal setter because I sometimes feel once you do reach that like objective or whatever, you can kind of you kind of chill or coast a little bit. So, you know, just if I can do everything in training, um, you know, fitness wise, gym wise, batting, bowling wise, then, you know, it'll put me in a, in a good place and you just take it game by game by game. I know it's a bit cliche, but yeah, no, just, you know, being trying to be the best, best bloke and the best cricketer I can be.